gasoline prices haven't been this low since, well, I can't even remember. I must have been a wee teenager and yet still the same height. Most of you guys watching could have still actually been swimmers, if you know what I'm getting at. What I'm trying to also say is that gas prices also won't remain this low forever. Eventually, when the quarantine is does subside and we can get on with our normal daily lives, we're gonna be driving a heck of a lot more than we are right now, which is like almost zero. And we figure also that there were other people out there who were just in the process of buying their brand new cars when all of this uh, quarantines hit and they weren't able to do it. So maybe now you've got enough time to move on over to autodeal.com.ph and check out the cars that you may or may not want to buy immediately after the quarantine is done. And we figured since, well, there's gonna be a lot of savings that we're gonna need to do immediately after the quarantine, even though gas prices are low, let's say we continue with the savings and come out with a list, a very short list, a top five list of the most fuel efficient cars that we've tested on behind the wheel here on behind a desk, a uh, home edition version. Now, we have to put a disclaimer though that these are the cars that we've tested with the best fuel economy on the highway at most likely, no, at 100 kilometers per hour. So, without further ado, here is our top five list. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, put the sign, put the sign, put the sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but before anything else, do please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell of our Auto Deal channel here on YouTube so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thank you everyone for joining us. What? <laughs> what? That was unexpected. Okay. Coming in at number five is the Hyundai Santa Fe that does 21 kilometers per liter on the highway. Named after an iconic American city, the Santa Fe boasts the same aura, power, and performance of the Tucson, but elevates all of it in terms of style and sophistication. The Santa Fe is currently available with an eight-speed automatic transmission and is fitted with a 2.2 liter diesel engine. Coming in at number four is the Suzuki Ertiga at 21.2 kilometers per liter, which is not bad at all. Suzuki's entry into this top five and into the highly competitive small MPV market, the Ertiga comes in three variants with a broad range of prices and specifications, but 1.5 liter engine is standard across the lineup and it is paired to either a five-speed manual or a traditional four-speed automatic transmission. Coming in at number three, how poetic, because it is the Mazda 3 with 22.1 kilometers per liter. Now, this is for both variants, the Sportback and the Sedan. Mazda's first entry into this list takes to the form of two vehicles, with eight kilograms separating the two Mazda 3s, yet powering the two twins is a two-liter naturally aspirated Skyactiv G engine, which is paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. At number two, if the description of the previous cars didn't give it away, it's again a Mazda, this time a Mazda 6, with 23 kilometers per liter on the highway, which is very impressive already. Pegged as an executive sedan that you'd want to drive, the Mazda 6 has the appeal of a sensual vehicle and the driving traits of a powerful daily driver. As luck will have it, it's 2.5 liter Skyactiv G turbocharged engine paired with a six speed automatic transmission make for a potential yet frugal duo. And at number one with the best legs of them all is the Sangyong Tivoli with a whopping 24 kilometers per liter on the highway. That's nuts! With the right combination of features and torque in its diesel form, floor the accelerator and the car shoves you into your seat. Equipped with a 1.6 liter diesel and six speed automatic transmission, when driven properly, its thrifty side easily propels it to the top of this list, making it the most fuel efficient car we've driven on behind the wheel from 2019 to date. Thanks for watching everyone, but before we go, please do remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. As always, stay safe, we miss you, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Good job. Yes! <laughs> I'd like to stand up, but it's still rolling, and if I stand up, they're gonna see that, yeah, I'm not completely dressed. <laughs>